So in this video, we're going to go from this material to this material. That was shown off by Rasmus over on Twitter. Go over, follow him. Amazing balls. And he's done a breakdown of how he actually built this texture. Now we're not going to be using the same diffuse map as him because that's a whole nother skill set. Instead, we're going to be using this simple texture map from textures.com of just some scratches, but it's still. And I'll do this material setup and save it over to the Patreon. But make sure you go follow this person. Unbelievable. So the first thing we're going to do is set up that ambient occlusion side. So let's go shift A, search, ambient occlusion. Bam, like that. And then we'll throw in our color ramp. Now from here, we can just extend it to be a little bit bigger. The AO goes into the factor and we're going to add in two extra colors. Now the first color we'll bring all the way over to here and we're just going to pick a bit of a dark blue there. Let's bring this one over some more and we'll make it kind of like almost like a skinny color. And then we'll just bring the black to about halfway. Eh, not so much. We'll also change from linear to cardinal and we'll plug that in just to have a look. You can see that ambient occlusion and as well how this color ramp is kind of showing the colors. Move that over a little bit. Let's go shift A, search and add in a noise texture just to kind of diversify the ambient occlusion. Now, the reason why I've got these textures above is because of the node preview add-on. There is a link in the description for that. But let's go ahead, add another color ramp, increase the size a smidgen, color into the factor. Let's crush it a little bit. There we go, and we'll go cardinal. Now we can see that obviously it's very large at the moment. So let's increase the scale to, I don't know, 50, 60, 75. Let's bring up the roughness all the way. And obviously we can't see anything on the model yet. So let's go into a mix RGB, place that into there, color into here, change the mix to overlay. And that is looking nice. You can just see kind of like that noise texture through there. <clears throat> Next thing we're gonna do is add in our base texture. So shift A search image texture. Let's go find our texture that we just downloaded, uh, the albedo. And I'm just going to grab this mix shader, shift D to duplicate. This one comes into color. This can now go into the surface, color into the top. And there we have it. However, this texture here, it's a little bit too light. I want something a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is add in a mix RGB, throw that one into there. Let's go color dark and we'll change our mix to a multiply. And let's find our happy place. Mother. From here, let's go ahead and create that edge detection. Shift A, search. We're gonna go into a geometry. Throw that into there. From here, shift A, search. And we're gonna type in bevel. And we'll dump that one into there. Shift A, search. We're gonna do a vector math. From here, our bevel comes into the bottom. The normal comes into the top. And you can already see just around the edges that we're getting some sort of uh, friction. Or I guess work on the normal map. Let's change the add to a dot product. From here, let's go into our color ramp. Whoop. Increase that a little bit. Bring that value into the factor. We'll make the black all the way to the right. There we go. And if we kind of zoom in, we can see that on this texture, the edges are starting to show a bit of love. So let's go ahead and just throw the color into here. And then we should see all those wonderful edge detect lines. Mwah! Let's go ahead now and add in our image texture open. I'm just going to throw in our roughness map, add in a mix RGB color goes into color. Number one, color number two goes into here and we'll change this to our soft line. I think just our roughness map is too kind of gray. So let's go into a color ramp like so and we'll crush the blacks, bring in the whites. From here, what we'll do is I'm just gonna shift D, duplicate this one here. Now this mix RGB comes into the factor. The soft light changes to a mix. The color from our, now the color from our roughness we'll throw into number two and the combination of our work downstairs we'll throw into one. Now those lines are still way too thick, but you can see the splotches from this map here. You can see the splotches kind of like in those lines now. So if you wanted to, we could select that control T, 
just bring up our mapping node. So from here, we'll go generated into the vector. And that's not looking too bad. Let's maybe just decrease the size 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And you can see how we're starting to break up those lines ever so slightly. So let's keep at that. Maybe I might just increase the diversity. Yeah, nice. Let's maybe make that just a smidgen gray, just so they're not so strong. Um, from here, let's go ahead. I think that's looking quite nice for me. Let's add in our principal BDSF into the base color. Let's bring that specularity down. Um, let's just move that over a smidgen. From here, let's kind of get the roughness going. Shift A, color. Let's do a color ramp in there. Color goes into the factor. Color goes into the roughness. Maybe what we might do is make the white a little bit more prominent. Just change that to a cardinal. Still feel like this is really light. So let's come back down into uh, this section down here. Color, we will bring it down a bit more, increase that one and down into here. And now if we kind of jump over and have a look into the world settings, very simple sky texture background world output, but it's really bright. So the thing that we can change now to bring that color a little bit back is change your exposure. So into the render settings, scrolling it down to film exposure, we can go like 0.2. And there we have it. Gorgeous. So make sure you jump over and check out Rasmus's Twitter. Oh my goodness.